I'm so glad they're here, and I'm glad you guys have come out to support them. Our first act tonight, I want you to make her feel welcome with a big round of applause, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Let her hear Mrs. Maisel. Mrs. Maisel. I have a confession. I love making lists. And when I say I love making lists, lists for me are like love names. You start at the top, you work your way down. But unfortunately, you usually end up disappointed because you never get to finish. <laughs> I put all kinds of things on my list. Doctor's appointments, nail appointments, get pregnant, and when getting pregnant is on your, on your to-do list, you have what I call drive-through sex. <laughs> Honey, I'd like to order a baby. No, no fries, just the baby. And make it a single. <laughs> I got pregnant, and the baby book of my generation was called What to Expect When You're Expecting. I have decided to rewrite the book, and I want to run a few chapters by you. Chapter one, when sex was for pleasure. There was all kinds of sex on the menu, starting with fast food sex. This is the kind of sex you have late at night, you usually been drinking, you swear you shouldn't, but you do it anyway, and if we're all really, really honest, it's a lot better going down than it is coming up. <laughs> Next, buffet sex. Let's see, Saturday, I think I'll do Italian. Tuesday, Asian. On second thought, you know, after about an hour, I'm just not satisfied. <laughs> oh, 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 and what about comfort food sex? It's like a hug, the kind mom used to make. <laughs> and then, step up from that, Outback Steakhouse sex. But I think we can all agree, the food and the service is inconsistent. <laughs> then, the most sought after, the rarest, the unicorn of all sex, fine dining. Say, Michael's on East. It, the lights are low. It begins with an appetizer of diverse textures and flavors that you had never even considered or thought possible. It leaves you aching for the main course, which arrives sizzling and hot. And before you think you can't take any more, you slide into a velvety dessert and a blissful slumber. Y'all are gonna need to just give me a second. <laughs> Chapter two, the class. So I go to the class, and there's a sticky on each wall. The first one says breastfeeding, the second one says thinking about breastfeeding, and the third one says formula feeding. The instructor tells us to go stand next to the sticky that aligns with our birth plan. So I beeline it over to formula feeding when I realize everyone is staring at me, including my husband, as if I'm standing next to a sticky that says, I want to give birth to a serial killer. <laughs> now, now, I need to tell you, I raised two girls. They turned out just fine. As a matter of fact, actually, they're in Hollywood. Um, they've been in a couple movies. Um, sir, maybe you've seen them. It was girl on girl porn. Did you see them? No? Ma'am, how about you? It was Sexy Sister. Saw that one? No? Well, don't be judgy. Don't be judgy. I mean, they're not serial killers. But I'll tell you what, if they were my girls, they'd be good serial killers. Yes, they would. They'd be very good at it. All right, next chapter, moving day. So we're here in Sarasota, so I got to believe all of you have probably packed and unpacked at least once. Some of you? I think so. All right. Well, we all have those very special items, the things we want to take special care of in packing. For me, it was Grandma's Christmas ornament. So I took Grandma's Christmas ornament, and I wrapped it in tissue paper, and then I put it in a box, and I took that box, and I wrapped it in newspaper, and I took that, and I put the little baby bubble wrap, and I wrapped that all up with that clear plastic wrapping tape, and I put the big fat bubble wrap around that with the big plastic wrap. That is what being pregnant's like. <laughs> <sighs> so then it comes time to unpack, and we are in great anticipation of all the Christmases yet to come. But here's the thing. Nobody tells you. Grandma's little Christmas ornament, oh, well, She's gonna develop a will of her own and she's gonna decide to rip her way out from the inside like she's a professional eater at a hot dog contest. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, 
That's how it goes. <laughs> Final chapter of the book, no sex. This, this is now an outbox. That's it. <laughs> so, stop. So after 25 years, unfortunately, or fortunately, I got a divorce, which takes me all the way back to chapter one when sex was for pleasure. They changed the menu. <laughs> It's now organic, gluten-free, vegan sex. <laughs> it's sex texting. And since when is kissing a girl no longer for guys and lesbians? When did that happen? And then finally, I don't know who wrote it, and I don't know if any of you read it. Fifty Shades of Grey. All I can say is wow. So for all of you wonderful single people out there daring to date, for all of us, us who've been thrust back into the dating pool, I only have a couple words for you from my personal experience. Number one, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And second, it's amazing! <laughs> Amazing, marvelous, made of.